everyone, Susan Farrell. I put together this little video just to show you all how I finish off my paintings once I've completed them. Now, before I go on to that, I'll just go over something that I always teach my students in the live workshop is as you're painting the front, I normally tell them to take it around the outside to wrap around the edges. Um, up here we've got magenta and it's going around the side, blue going around the side. Um, and the same on this side. It just gives the painting a 3D look when it's hanging on the wall. Um, and if you do it at the time that you're painting, it's easier, but you can come back at the end and uh, match it up fairly easily. Some artists prefer to just do their edges in one colour, as black, white, or they pick a colour that's in their canvas that they like and they do it in that colour. They're all correct, there's no wrong or right, that's really just up to you as to what you would like to do. So that's the edges. Now, just talk to you about the back of the canvas, how to prepare it. Now, if you're just going to be hanging your canvas on your own wall, you really only need to just attach wire. But if you're going to give it as a gift or you're going to put it in an art show or maybe an art gallery, it's always nice to finish off the back and make it look really uh, professional. I like to use artist tape. Now you can buy that in a good art store or maybe your framer might have it as well. Um, we just apply it around the outside edge to hide some of the staples and it just looks much nicer than just the raw back which has drips and things on it. So I'm going to show you how to apply that in a sec. So see you in a minute. Hi. To show you how to put the artist tape on, oh, I've got my glasses on. Um, so, as I was saying, we just apply it to that outer edge. You can get thicker ones than these that can cover the whole um, of the back edge, but I sometimes find they're a little bit too thick, and you don't want them catching on things and coming off. So just holds it down. So Quite easy. Trim this off. And finally, last side. And trim it off again. So you've got a canvas that looks nice. And finished off, or nicely finished off, just gives it that really nice look on the back. So now I'll show you how to attach the wire. So I've shown you how to put on the artist tape. So the next step after that is applying the wire. Now I buy my wire from my art store. It's a really lovely soft wire but it's coated in plastic so it's really nice to work with. Um, it bends back on itself really nicely because you need to have that to secure it. Um, so that's the one I recommend but you may not be able to get it any wire is fine as long as it's really really strong um, and, and it will keep your canvas safely on the wall. So that's the wire. I attach it with from the same store little D-rings, which I will give you a close-up shot of them, um, which have screws that go into them. Very easily um, put on the back with a Phillips head screwdriver um, straight into the timber, um, making sure that you just use the screwdriver and you don't worry about using any power tools that might make it a bit 
um, too tight in there. It goes in quite easily because the wood is quite soft, so you just have to apply a little bit of pressure, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the uh, rule is normally um, a third down from the top of your canvas. So my canvas is a 30 inch canvas. So I have measured 10 inches down, put a little pencil dot on either side, and that's where I'll be putting my D-rings and screws, and then of course attaching the wire. So, I'm going to show you now. See you in a minute. Hi. So, now I'm going to show you how to put the wire on, which is very easy and quite straightforward. Um, I've got my Phillips head screwdriver. I've cut my wire so that it has about 10 centimetres or 4 inches either side of the canvas. We don't want it really, really tight but a soft stretch across the canvas. I have marked my 10 inches down because this is a 30 inch canvas, so a third from the top. I've marked it with a pencil on both sides so that it hangs evenly. And now I'm taking my D-rings, which I'll give you a closer up in a minute, so you can actually see what they look like, and putting the screw through it, putting it on the pencil mark, and just softly screwing it in doesn't have to be super tight just as long as it's holding then I'm going to spin around the other side this little table is a bit narrow if you've got a bigger table it's easier All right. put that in there just a bit of pressure get it going and it's in so now I'm getting my wire and I'm going to stretch it across. I'm going to pull out about four inches or ten centimetres through and across. Do the same thing on this side. So we get it sort of sort of evenly, bend them around. Now on this side I've probably got a bit of excess and I could trim it off. But then you get your wire and you just neatly roll it back, really almost touching as you go around. So it can take a little while. The other side's popped out for the minute. So I'm just wrapping that around and around until it's all used up. It just looks nicer if it's all close together rather than stretched out across the whole back of the wire. It just has a really neat finish. Coming across to the other side, now pulling it just softly into a stretch and bending it back as well onto itself. The more you do this little tight coil, it just makes it stronger that there's no chance that it's going to come away from the D-rings and fall off the wall. So I haven't got it completely stretched really, really tight, just a nice soft give. But you can see that it now gives it that nice neat back that you want on the back of your canvas. So it looks really professional. Okay, now we're going on to do the varnishing, which is the final stage. See you in a bit. So this is what the D-rings look like up close. And you can see that I pan back how I've wound my wire. Pan back a bit more. And you can see the tools that I've used and going back across. Again, the other side. 